I've tiramisu missed you guys. It's time to show you how to make an amazingly easy tiramisu recipe. I'm not using the traditional lady fingers here. I'm gonna do it with these milk coffee biscuits, but you can use any white cookie. And I'm gonna make it mine by making it rainbow and making it a little bit punny. All right, to do this, it's really simple. No more than 30 minutes. You wanna take two tablespoons of sugar. You can take three quarters of a cup of strong coffee and a quarter of a cup of Tia Maria and mix them together in like a shallow base bowl. Take 300 mils of heavy or whipping cream and you wanna mix this. You don't want it at all whipped or even semi-whipped. You really just want like a thickening of the liquid here kind of something like this because there's so much more mixing to do and we definitely don't want to over whip that cream. Take your mascarpone cheese, leave that on the bench for about half an hour before mixing it through. It'll make the mix so much easier and just mix it until it's smooth. Then you want to divide it into three bowls. You could just make a white and brown tiramisu but this is my cupcake addiction and we don't do that here. I'm going to make these three awesome rainbow layers by just adding some either gel or liquid or paste food coloring, a little bit in each bowl and mix it through. And you'll notice this mixture really starting to thicken up to resemble more of a whipped cream. You still want it to be a little less than fully whipped here. So start by soaking your cookies, whatever you've chosen in that coffee mixture, about 20 seconds until they just start to soften, but they're like not falling apart and then layer them down in your dish. These ones have like a crinkled edge, which I thought looked really cute in the finished product. You want to dust on some cocoa to give it that bit of chocolate flavor. And then I put my mixture into a piping bag because it made it so much neater to do this step. And it stopped me getting cocoa all through my colored layers. Once you've coated it, just gently spread and smooth with a spatula. And then you're going to do another layer of those cookies, another layer of that cocoa for our chocolatey piece, and then another layer of the mascarpone mix. This is a super simple recipe. It's gonna take you like 30 minutes to whip up. Honestly, the most time consuming part is gonna be making the lettering on top, the template for that. So you can do that in advance. More cookies, more cocoa, and then it's time for the top layer, which I'm gonna do pink because I thought it looked really cute with the brown lettering and the red love heart. Get this layer really nice and smooth and then pop that dish off into the fridge for 30 minutes so it can kind of semi set. While that's chilling, I'll leave a template in the description, but you just want to use like a Stanley knife or an X-Acto knife to cut out the letterings. Keep those little bits from the inside of the R and the A, and then you want to cut this to size. You notice that I haven't cut out the red love heart yet, so leave that hole, and I'm going to put back in the little insert for the R and the A before dusting this with a little bit of cocoa to give us our lettering. Removing this can be a little challenging. You've got to slide a knife underneath and you've really got to lift it straight upwards so that you don't flick those cocoa crumbs all over your nice pink filling. Don't forget to remove those little white inserts for the R and the A and then you can cut out your love heart. And I'm going to fill this with non-pareils. To be fair, these did jump around a lot on me. So maybe red sprinkles or even red colored cookie crumbs would be a little easier here. And then remove and you've got a Tira Miss You. You guys, I miss all of you. I miss everyone at the moment. We are all missing someone. So I thought this fun, punny, colorful take on a classic dessert would be right up our alley. I hope you enjoyed today's recipe. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos. And I do post a little more often on my Insta and my Facebook if you guys want to check me out there. See you next time.